Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Who Captain channel. Today I am going to show you uh, an amazing project where I transformed text into a diagram uh, or storyboard as you, you prefer using some libraries and uh, Next.js as the, the main framework, JavaScript framework. First I will show you the, the prototype and then the code with showing also the, the necessary libraries and that's it, let's go to the code. So here's the first page. I implemented a uh, login using GitHub OAuth 2.0. I'll show you how I did that, but let's sign in. If, if, if it's the first time, then you'll be redirected to GitHub. And here the prototype is very, very simple. In the left you have a text area and a button, and in the right you should see the final diagram generated by, by the app. So let's try to generate. Uh, test scenario for a login page. So if I am a QA, for example, I would like to generate a diagram where I could test, test any scenarios inside a login page, for example, success, error, and what you have to, to see, uh, what you have to type or click. And so I, I want the, the prototype to generate this diagram for me. Submit. And you can see that it generated a start event. You can move. I use it uh, a library for the diagrams. I'll show to you guys. Then enter username as the first activity. Enter password. Click login button. And then it has a, a check. Uh, valid. It, the, are the credentials valid? If success, display success message. If not, display error message. And both pointing to the end event. Pretty simple. You can see that start and end event has have the, the symbols used in BPMN, BPMN and then the activities, the main activities have this activity label so you can, you can in the future you can use this to change what's the behavior when we try to, for example, to run this diagram and you can see that valid credential, this checker is not an activity so the model found it by itself and if we run it again, it can show other diagram or not. I set the, the temperature of the GPT model to the, the lowest possible, but usually it generates another uh, scenario, another diagram. So let's try again. Yes, we had an error. Sometimes it, it throws an error. Yes, it, it sends us a really strange mermaid code. Let's try again. Yes, it keeps sending us strange code. Let's try again. Yes. So now we have a more complex scenario. So here we have the start. You can see that the model did not use the, the BPMN symbol and uh, no type as we we would like to, we can fix this, as well as the the parsing codes that we saw earlier. For the first activity, we have enter username and then enter password, click login, these are the same. Then we have this checker, our credentials valid, success, and then we have another activity, redirect to home page, it could be another another scenario for, for testing. If failed, display your error message and then come back to the the first state, uh, if, if we can say this way. Yes, this is the the diagram generator. I could I, I try to generate random uh, diagrams, for example, uh, football match, and it's it's interesting. For example, team A scores, team B scores, <laughs> scores again. Half time, second half starts, and then full time, and then end event. Submit it again. Yes, yeah, the same one. Um, for example, I don't know. <laughs> you you can say, but test uh, purchase page scenario for a purchase page. Yes, yeah, we had we had some parsing errors. Let's try again. Okay, this one is interesting. Click on add to cart button. Verify it item is added to cart. Click on proceed to checkout. Enter shipping and bill information, select payment method, 
review and confirm order, click on place order button and then verify order is placed successfully. And then inside each of these activities, we could we could have uh, another diagram. We could click, for example, in this one and create a more detailed diagram. It could be done. So that's it for this first part. And then let's go to the code demonstration. Um, we are using Next.js, as I said, it was easier to do using Verso to, to, to deploy as the infrastructure. And then, uh, like I said, we are using for the front end some libraries, Tailwind CSS, and then Regix UI, that's part of the Shed CN uh, library. Okay. And the first page, okay, for, for the, the authentication, we are using Next Alpha. The main configuration is this one. So we define the GitHub provider uh, and the, the logo for the project. And then we have to export this uh, authentication. Okay. That's it for this one. And then for, um, for the GPT integration, we are using API completion. Yes. We are, we are using the OpenAI library for JavaScript and then the AI library made by Verso. It's a, uh, like a framework, a um, group of helper functions to communicate with OpenAI and other uh, LLM providers. And then here we define which model we want to use if we are streaming. So we are, we do, we are streaming indeed, but as we are using the, the final text to generate the the diagram using and I have to say using React flow then we are not seeing the, the text come coming as a as a stream. And, and here you can see that I set the temperature to the lowest value possible. We have max tokens and then here we have the prompt template. As you can see um, we define which role the LLM has to to perform assistant helping to generate multiple choice flow chart about the topic and please only return the flow chart in mermaid js format that's why sometimes you have that parsing error because uh, mermaid has a lot of possibilities and we have to to use a um, formatted um, way to get the data that we want for example this one it was implemented by me each node has to have a type which is one of the following start event end event and activity and this you can see here activity this one is a start event and this one is an end event but then we depend on the model to give us the right format to to convert this this information this data in the node type uh, you should include in the node type in its label like this so this is like a hack so we can extract the the node type from the label and with the capabilities that Mermaid allows us to, to use. And that's it. Uh, the diagram direction directions should be top down and only return the flowchart with no markdown markers. And then here we, we have the user input that is this text that is inserted by the user. Okay. And then we we uh, send the, the response back to the to the page that is this page. So here we are using some components from the Shed CN uh, user interface. Um, we, are, we are using this use completion. That's a hook implemented by the Verso AI SDK. Here we have the, the user. And if it's not me, please don't, don't do anything. Uh, and then here you can see that we have the text area. area. Then we submit, so this is the handle submit. And when we have something back from the model, we use this to, to render the diagram. And here we have the diagram. The diagram is using uh, React flow, like I said. So this is the diagram. I defined it some node types, start event, end event, for example. This is the start event, the end event, and the activity. And then when we have something, uh, in the mermaid code variable and the the process process is completed by the module then we parse the mermaid code and set the edges and nodes so this function 
has to receive a string and that has a mermaid code and then parse it. For this one, I did a lot of uh, hacks. We can implement this much, much better, but you can see that uh, I received the code and I tried to filter it, removing double quotes inside parentheses or brackets, removing markdown code because we asked the, prompt, the model not to send it, but sometimes it sends uh, markdown code. And then using the, the SVG code, so we, we render the, the, the string containing the mermaid code. And then um, we use the, this SVG code to get the things that we want. For example, we get the nodes, we get the, the paths or the edges, and then we, we do a lot of uh, query uh, engineering here to, to get, for example, the node label, we get the label and the type. So, for example, here we have the label and the type, so we extract it from the, the string. We get the positions and we add some space between uh, the nodes. And here we have the, the node format expected by Redflow, and we do the same for the, the edges. So this is a, <laughs> a SVG code hacking to get what we, we have, we need, okay? And then get to the diagram when we have it, then we set the edges, set the nodes, and as we are using them here in the Redflow wrapper, then they are rendered here, okay? Yes. Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more programming, tech-related tech content. Let's try to, to make tech easier for all people and then we, we allow accessibility and people creating technology for, for the community. Okay, thank you and see you later.